Tim and Tiffany Brown have seen miracles happen. They happen almost on a daily basis with their son, Caleb. Just every time I put him in bed, I thank God for the day that he gave us, another day that he gave us with him. Tiffany was holding Caleb in her arms, about like this one day back in mid-October, when a rock the size of a basketball came ricocheting down the big waterfall at Fall Creek Falls. The rock bounced into the side of Caleb's head. Every day I wake up and it's still unreal to me. He was brought to T.C. Thompson Children's Hospital in critical condition. At one point, doctors didn't know if they could save his life. And if they could, what would that life be like? Understandably, Tim and Tiffany did not want to leave their son's side, but hospital rules would not let them stay overnight in the intensive care unit. And I remember thinking, well, gosh, you know, I don't want to stay in a hotel somewhere away from Caleb. Almost in the same breath, someone suggested the family stay at the Ronald McDonald House just across the street. The Browns were in a daze when they got there. We didn't remember anything the first two days, the first three days. I mean, I would even say the first week. We really didn't remember anything. The staff at the Ronald McDonald House immediately and quietly took over. The family, which included Tim and Tiffany and their two other children, wanted for nothing. They take away so many of the concerns and the worries that, that honestly you don't want to have to think about when you're worrying about your child being in intensive care. It was touch and go for Caleb for several weeks, in and out of comas, swelling of the brain. In all of it, he fought hard to stay alive, almost as if he knew his family was close by. I don't know what we would have done if we had not had a place like this because um, it was just really comforting and um, I just, I'm getting emotional because I just think about the fact that it made things that much, it made things a lot easier and easier to deal with. The outpouring of support from the Ronald McDonald House staff was equaled by the cards and letters from folks here at home and around the country who'd heard about Caleb's fight for survival. Eventually, Caleb turned the corner. He healed quickly and just as quickly struggled to become the little boy he once was. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Yeah. yeah. Over the next few weeks as his head healed, Caleb began five different therapies, physical, occupational, vision, speech, and water therapy. The physical therapist had uh, made about seven goals for him for the next three months, and he accomplished six out of seven in one month. His response to the other therapies have been just as glowing. He's either met or exceeded every goal set for him. Sometimes it's truly amazing to watch the human body as it rebounds from a traumatic injury, healing itself while allowing the person to explore and experiment with things they used to do. It's almost as if the brain says, you used to be able to do this, see if you can still do it. <laughs> you know, the sky is the limit. You know, they have not seen any indication that he is leveling off with any of his uh, abilities to, to increase, you know, regaining what he's lost. I mean, he's, again, he's just excelling every week. The Browns say the encouragement from the community is wonderful, and the staff at the Ronald McDonald House makes them feel like family. Tim says it's so very important that God's people keep the house that love built full of love for other families for people of faith and especially people who have any type of church background. We understand that the need for giving. We give to our churches and we tithe and we, we do different things for, for charities. And I know it's so hard when you're looking at your budget and you're wanting to find a worthwhile cause to contribute your money to. For me, it's, this one is, is at the top of my list. Uh, I've seen firsthand the quality of people who work here. It's important to have faith anyway because it will be tested at the hospital next door. But at the Ronald McDonald House, it's not surprising that's the place that faith will be renewed. Take it from a family that knows. I believe in faith and I believe in miracles. I believe in God's uh, uh, divine hand. You know, at the same time, it's just so wonderful to see it firsthand. So it's surprising, but yet at the same time, it's not. It's, it's God.